vibe up to heart sync so we're on this challenge and opening up now the last idea or topic which is about the compass to heart sync yes it needs a compass because we need to know where we're going with this so this is very exciting for me heart sinking means obviously we're starting with the heart and this is where we start right now so the heart or the archi the architecture of the heart i should say that came through in in the whole context of the consciousness architecture is symbolic you can take it metaphoric whatever you want it is about how can you use it for you how does it resonate how can it be the compass to heart sink the whole heart sinking is a word that i created it simply means that you ascend that you evolve that you reconnect to all that you are through the heart i'm not the only one who talks about that rumi wrote amazing things about the heart there is many many ways of or many people who talk about you see only through the heart so it's just like that and i've been a man of the heart for a long time the homo sapien never really fitted me so well so let's look how we can use the architecture of the heart as a compass so a compass is in a way and i i love metaphors it's a way to to show us the direction it doesn't tell us exactly how to go it doesn't give us instruction it just says well north south whatever is there and most likely where you want to go is there and so it allows you to make your own map so to heart sink is obviously part of what we're doing here vibe up to heart sink and when we heart sink we hopefully get into that new age that fifth dimension that new consciousness that most of us are looking for as we are awakening and yes we are all awakening if we like it or not if we are aware or not but yes we are so the architecture of the heart this is something that i have heard before but along the way i i was more attracted to it and i got my own downloads and my own information there is a s there is some people talking about the heart consists of four of three chambers these three chambers are the lower heart the higher heart and the cosmic heart there's different words this is the ones I'm using in my architecture of the heart so what is happening we originate from the cosmic heart we were all somehow created or whatever came into existence in a non-physical form I call it a source fractal because I like again the metaphor whatever you like a spark a light whatever you like for me source fractal beautiful metaphor so we are a source fractal that comes from the cosmic heart from the beginning of the beginning from the heart of the hearts so what happened maybe we got bored over time just shining and so we decided to go into forms and these forms were then 5d i think until nine dimensional you still have a body then you don't have a body anymore but it's not important what number it is so we went all over in the cosmos to different planets to go into a form human form there's different kind of forms but it was like we starting to bring the source fractal we created a soul so we could have the memory that we forget most of the time when we actually enter into a body and we started to experience to learn to support a particular planet through their particular times and so we brought our we came down if you wish in the heart into the higher heart which is the 5d experience the 5d worlds and we we learned we went into the intergalactic universities and a lot of other things and we had lives and 
in this higher heart now we learned more about the physical experience but still in peace and harmony and maybe we were instruments to facilitate some challenges that the population had at this time and the uncondition of course still has the word condition in there so we we had certain paradigms and certain conditions but we were able to live in harmony with the nature with the elements and all there is and when we took the big challenge to actually come to earth we decided to come into 3d so the three-dimensional stuff the matrix the karma the separation and all the other things that we already talk about and this is the hardest school but we've chosen it and particularly at this time because of course we are part of this shift we're part of this change is it always pleasant no but if we understand more about it and if we understand this architecture of the heart i feel it's much easier to, to heart sink and if we can use that as a compass so as we experiencing all of that we could then go on a journey of self-realization no not self-development because that's the persona that's the 3d person so we could go on self-realization many mystic people did that in all different kind of religious and not religion spiritual traditions but it was hard and often you had to spend your life up in the himalaya or another remote place to actually achieve enlightenment and what it was that you actually took the experience of the 3d take it out bring it up again into the higher heart and connect back to source to the cosmic heart and your heart sink through the heart and the architecture of the heart later on we figured out that humanity has different levels of consciousness and that has come through in spiral dynamics with carol graves that i studied intensely but it's not it's not about this this video no it's about we then realized there was a particular consciousness that we could as humanity at a particular time assign to what he doesn't talk about is the age of aquarius the age of pisces the age of um, taurus that was still in harmony with the divine feminine the age of uh, aries that separated us but it goes into that so there was a consciousness available that was somehow mm, should i say promoted by the universe by these stars and how the planets shine in and how the planets enable humanity to go through their process of evolution so that is one thing so we could take that energy that comes in into the context of the collective consciousness and do with it whatever we want then comes my my uh, consciousness architecture where we then take the architecture of the heart and this is where we don't only spiral out which we can do in spiral dynamics we can spiral back down into the ancient times or we can spiral out what carol grave calls the second tier in consciousness architecture and the architecture of the heart we actually vibe up so this is a vibrational thing this is only possible really with this particular vibration of aquarius so we couldn't actually do this before before I, either it was a lonely journey of the hermit or we were conditioned in a way in the other aries piscean whatever time now in aquarius we actually can vibe up in that architecture of the heart so now we can come out of the 3d and the lower heart we can leave the conditional love and the conditions and the karma behind spiral out and vibe up into the higher heart and into the cosmic heart so returning back to our origin what i call the source fractal now this can happen in many different ways and this is basically the awakening so it's a compass for some of us we have an awakening 
moment, an awakening experience. It can be a bombshell, it can be many, many different things. That connects us back into the source fractal that is in the cosmic heart that we have forgotten. When we click in there again, it is easier to find that compass again that's in the architecture of the heart to wipe up. So somehow or another we find that vibe and we wipe up again to connect. So this is the one of the compasses that are available for us to heart sync. How does that work for you? Can you imagine? Is it too crazy? Let me know in the comments because you know we like to make content that makes this journey accessible for all of us to vibe up and heart sink. And I see you for more. Thank you for being part. Thank you for subscribing. Because remember, we are here to be a community. And we are here to vibe up and heart sink together. Your comments help us to make new comments new content that takes us closer to where we are going to vibe up and heart sink together.